Hello. Hi. Um, good afternoon, guys. This is L Lamisani of Elswat once again. And today I present to you a tutorial that we'll be making about um, involving a jQuery pagination plugin. As usual, the plugin, um, if you want to know what we'll be making, let me just show you an example quickly. So here we have a, a simple jQuery pagination um, plugin in display. So basically the reason we're doing this is, let's say you have a bunch of um, items repeated on a page and you don't want the user to scroll way down the page just so he can reach a specific item. So in this case we have uh, 12 um, items on this page, 12 posts for example, so one awesome post, one, two, three, so this is repeated um, 12 times. So the pagination script, what that will do is it will take whatever you have on your um, page and then paginate that in sort of like pages on the same link. So if you click on the first one, you'll be taken to the first set of um, items. And then when you click on the second link, it will take you to the sixth to the tenth item on your page. When you click on the third one, you'll be taken to the last set. So yeah, here we go, guys. That's what we'll be making. So let's just dive in and start coding straight away because that's the fun part. Okay, so here we are in um, a new text editor that I'm using called Brackets. Um, if you really like this text editor, you can go to Google and search Brackets Adobe. It's a new text editor. It's not done yet. They're still um, creating it, but um, I still think it's, it's cool. So I started to use it for this um, tutorial. So here we go. Okay, we'll start by creating our required folders. First, we'll um, create a new CSS folder. And then we'll create a new JS folder. Okay, um, next we'll go ahead and create a new JS folder for our JavaScript. And then we'll create a new HTML file, index.html. Okay, here we are. Oh, sorry, I created it in the wrong place. Um, I'll just go ahead and delete that. Okay. Um, we'll just rename this to index.html okay here we go guys so we'll just start by creating our usual HTML um, tags inside of that we'll have head head tags inside of that we'll have title so we'll just call it jQuery pagination plugin so inside our HTML we'll have a body as well in the body we'll have a div container for our page we'll give it a class of page inside of there we'll have a top level header container header with um, text jquery pagination plugin awesome <laughs> could have a bit of fun sometimes okay so we'll go in our page um, we'll go to our document folder and then try to preview this in Firefox so here we go okay our page is set up properly so now what we need to do next is go and grab our scripts that we need so first we need jQuery so we'll create a new file in here call it jQuery.js there's nothing in there so because that means we don't have jQuery yet. So we'll go to Google and grab jQuery from the website. Okay, we'll get the uncompressed version. We'll just copy this, go back to our page, paste it in there. So next we need two scripts. We'll need a paginate um, folder, sorry, script to store our pagination um, plugin and then we'll need another file as well custom JS so we can call our script from there and we'll need a new CSS file where we'll store our CSS for styling the page 
so let's go and set up our HTML file now we'll have to link to the CSS up here in the heading tag so the href for that is slash CSS slash style relation style sheet and then just before the closing body tag we'll link to all our JavaScript that we need first one is jQuery we we'll just copy that paste it twice and then just change the name of whatever we have so we'll first have to link to a paginate.js because that needs to load before we call it and it depends on jQuery so make sure that you put it after the jQuery script and we'll have custom.js so we'll go inside of paginate and set up our plugin so that we'll see if jQuery has been hooked so we'll set a self invoking function and we pass it the jQuery namespace here and then we'll do a document dot ready we'll pass it a function now so inside of there we'll do an alert we'll do a yp so when we refresh here we should have yp come up yippee so that means jquery is working so basically guys if you want to know what we did here we just called the self invoking function passing it the jquery namespace so this in here we're passing this here so we can use the dollar sign inside of our script because if we have other plugins loaded side by side our plugin those may also be using the dollar sign for example if we have dojo framework dojo is another javascript library just like jquery i mean it might be using the dollar sign so that might conflict with jquery's um, dollar sign so we just want to make sure that we are using jquery inside here like when we do dollar sign we want to mean jquery here and nothing else okay so once that's done we'll go to our html here and then just put in some dummy text so that uh, we'll have something to paginate so basically the reason we do pagination is for example if we have a repeated set of elements that are the same but we don't want to be going further down the page to retrieve those elements so what we'll do is we'll create a another div containing div here let's say we have a list of posts so the list of posts have a containing div of of with a class of list of posts so inside of there we'll have a list of posts each contained inside a div with a class of post inside of each post there's a h3 header tag with awesome post one and a p tag of let's go to google and just get some um lauren it's some this is just a filler text for when you're creating something new and you actually don't have real content to put in there so we'll just go in there and just copy some random text and just paste it in here so now we have one prototype of a post so we'll just replicate that lots of times two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so we have sixteen posts we'll just name them so we can identify them on the page so first post second post third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen okay 